click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. The beginning of the Islamic month of Du Al-Qaeda marks the birth anniversary of Bibi Fatima al masuma She was born in the holy city of Medina. The holy household was awaiting the arrival of a newborn. In the house of Imam Musa al kadhim Najmah, the wife of the Honorable Imam, was eagerly looking forward to the arrival of the child, she was counting days and nights for that special day. The Imam's house was overwhelmed with happiness and joy. Finally, the day arrived, on the 1st of Du Al-Qaeda 173 AH when Allah blessed our 7th Imam Musa al kadhim with a daughter. The child's appearance was brilliant and cheerful and she opened her pure bright eyes to this world in the house of Imam. All the members of the holy household were in utter happiness for the newborn and after the Imam, maybe there was not anybody as happy as his wife Najma. This was because this was the second child that was granted by the grace of Allah to Najma after 25 years. 25 years ago, in the same month of Du Al-Qaeda, Najma had given birth to a baby boy who after his father was to become the Imam and was to shoulder the responsibility of Imamate and guiding the Muslims. Yes, that was 148 age when the eight Imam, Ali was born and who was given the title of Raza. Najma got immense pleasure in her first child and after years God blessed her and her husband Musa Kadhim with a daughter and a sister to Imam Raza. Imam Musa al kadhim named his daughter Fatima, for the sake of love and special attachment he had with his grandmother Fatima Zara. Fatima's purity, modesty, and piety were such that after some time she was referred as Masuma, the infallible. This was because like her honorable father, she used to keep away from all evils and sins. Fatima was a name that was remembered among the Alul Bait, who had hundreds of sad and sweet memories of the life of Bibi Fatima. If anybody chose the name Fatima for their daughters, they used to give the same respect as the Prophet used to give his daughter. She was never neglected. Imam Musa al kadhim also followed this tradition and used to love the new girl very much and never failed to show and express his kindness to and love for her. Fatima Masuma was growing under the shelter of her father and dear mother and was day by day learning new things from both of them. If the father of Fatima was the Imam of the Muslims and was matchless in his piety and chastity, then her mother was also pious and faithful who had accomplished her essential studies of Islam in the school of the wife of Imam Jaffa Sadiq. In those days she was the most intelligent amongst all women and it was for reason that the mother of Imam Kadhim, Hamada, asked him to propose and marry her. Hazrat Fatima Masuma took advantage of studying in the presence of her father, brother and pious mother. All her young life was full of Islamic education. Every Friday people would come to Medina with their religious questions. After getting their questions answered by Imam Musa al kadhim they would return to their town. Incidentally, once Imam Kadhim was away and Imam Raza was also not around, the people without getting their questions answered were returning home very sad. Fatima Masuma noticed the sadness and took the papers from them and answered their questions. The people became happy and left. On the outskirts of Medina they met Imam Musa al kadhim and they informed him of all that had transpired in his house. The Imam asked to read his daughter's answers and after reading expressed his happiness, praised her and in a short sentence said, May her father be sacrificed for her. After the martyrdom of our seventh Imam Musa al kadhim his son and our eighth Imam Ali Raza took care of his family and his sisters. Bibi Fatima al-Masuma loved her brother immensely, 
similar to the love of Bibi Zainab towards her brother Imam Hussein. In 200 AH, Mamoun Rashid, the Abbasid Caliph called, Imam Ali Raza to Khorasan from Medina and no family member was allowed to accompany him. Bibi Fatima al-Masuma missed her brother very much and left Medina for Khorasan, Iran. When she reached Sawa, she learnt the news of Shahadot of her brother. On learning this, she became very ill and asked to be taken to come. Within a few days after her brother's death, she died. She was buried in Qum on 8th Rabi Ul Awal 201 AH. She was only 22 years old at the time of her death. People pay great respect and visit her grave from all the different corners of the world and have their wishes fulfilled.